All right, what is going on, everybody? Hello, welcome. What's up? Time for a new full day of gameplay streams for you guys and gals. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. DSP here live on the stream. How's it going today, folks? How are you? So, got a lot to talk about today, everybody. Got a lot to talk about. Let's, uh, let's get to the nitty-gritty of it, shall we? Uh, so that we can, you know, get to the marvelous gameplay of today's stream, okay? So first off, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, um, today is Thursday, November 30th, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, today is officially the last day of November 2017. It is currently 12.46 p.m. Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, it means that there's less... Less than 12 hours left for you to pledge to my Patreon for the month of November. I'd like to give a shout out right now because it was Nick who actually just did a significant pledge to the Patreon to try to make this Christmas event happen. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people have been asking, gee, Phil, um, are we going to hit the, the event for this month? What's going to happen this month uh, with Patreon? Are we doing the Christmas event or not? Well, it's mostly good news, folks. The good news is that over the past few days, a few people have upped their pledges and or, you know, pledged for the first time. Um, you know, Nick just upped his pledge, which is awesome. Uh, and so because of this, it looks like more than likely we are hitting the goal. Like, I'm pretty confident we're hitting the Christmas goal at this point. Um... I would be very, very, very surprised if all of a sudden, last minute, a bunch of people withdrew their pledges or their pledges didn't go through and we didn't hit the goal. Um, it looks like we're hitting it, all right? So, I mean, that's my attitude. Maybe I am being a little bit overly positive, but my attitude is I think we hit the goal. I think we're good. Uh, I will absolutely know concretely by the end of tomorrow because tomorrow is December 1st. And what happens is on December 1st, all of the, the ongoing pledges who have, you know, pledges that go month to month, will all clear. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then we'll know, you know, then we'll know what's going on, uh, you know, for sure, 100%. But I am feeling confident. I am. So I want to say thank you to everyone who did pledge to my Patreon for the month of November. Uh, this means that, you know, we're going to be doing a holiday Christmas event. What does that mean? Well, People who pledged five bucks or more to my Patreon, all right, this month are going to be able to nominate and vote on holiday-themed games for me to play during this gaming event. When is it going to take place? Right before Christmas. I don't know the exact date yet, okay? I don't know the 100% exact date, but it's going to be the weekend before actual Christmas, uh, either a Saturday or a Sunday, one of those days, um, and... Uh, it's going to be good. I'm going to be dressed up. I'm going to be wearing some kind of ugly Christmas sweater or two. Uh, I'll be drinking. In fact, yesterday, if you guys didn't see on my Instagram, I posted up a few ideas that I got um, of Christmas-themed liquor that possibly I could drink during this event, okay, uh, including some eggnog. I did find some some alcoholic eggnog um, as well as a few other things. So I'm getting some ideas of things that I can drink during this event. You know, people wanted to see me kind of get a little bit tipsy for the holidays, and that's cool. I'm okay with that, as long as it's not every day, right? Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be a really fun event, and, uh, you know, I hope to uh, entertain you coming up. You know, I'll have more details on it as we get closer. I'll have more details about what games and, you know, the exact date and all of that as we get closer to it, all right? But it's looking good. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing this up, all right? If you pledge by the end of today, which would be, there's about 11 hours left Pacific time, so 11 hours left, uh, you can still get in on this event. If you pledge five bucks or more, you can nominate and vote on these games that I'll be playing during this event, all right? And it looks like it's very likely we're hitting the goal. <clears throat> so this would be a great opportunity for you to do so, to pledge and be pretty much assured that you're going to get something out of it, okay? Just throwing that out there because I know some people, oh, are we going to hit the goal or not? I don't want to pledge if we're not going to hit the goal. It's looking very likely like we're going to hit the goal. All right? FYI. So that's some good news for everybody, right? Good news. Now, FYI, folks, for December, 
<sighs> I'm pulling out all the stops on Patreon. All right, I am. Because the bottom line is, folks, if you haven't been paying attention, it was one week ago when I announced my situation, my financial troubles that I'm in because of these back taxes that apparently I owe, even though my tax attorney that I paid a ridiculous amount of money to do my taxes properly did not do his job. And uh, now I could be owing taxes, you know, who knows how much. I mean, my, my new tax attorney told me a minimum, probably around a minimum of $5,000, if not more. But that's not including uh, fees, interest, all this kind of stuff. Plus, I'm going to owe uh, taxes for this year, apparently, which is going to be due by the end of January. Plus, I'm going to owe uh, fees to this new attorney that I had to hire to get this whole thing cleared up. So by the time this whole thing is done, I'm going to owe a ridiculous amount of money for something I didn't do wrong. And I don't want to lose my house over it, all right? I want to say thank you to those of you who have stepped up in the past week. You guys have been tremendously supportive in the last week, whether it was being positive everywhere, because a lot of you were positive pretty much everywhere, all right? Um, on stream, on social media, everywhere. People have been really nice, and it's very much appreciated, all right? That's number one. Number two, um, you know, people coming out to stream and obviously being very supportive with cheers, subs, and tips. It's been greatly appreciated, folks. Um, however, just to make this clear, as of today, today would be the last day that if you cheer on stream, that this is going to help me with this tax situation. And the reason I say that is because cheers take two months to clear. It's the same thing with subs. They take two months to clear, meaning I won't, for example, tomorrow on the first of, um, on the very first of December, if you cheer, I won't get that money until February. So it's not going to help with the tax situation where everything's due at the end of January, all right? So a few things moving forward. Number one, if you really want to help me with this whole situation, I would suggest two different things that you can do. Actually, I take that back. Three different things that you can do, all right? Number one would be to tip me on the streams. Tipping, I get right away, <clears throat> okay? Helps me out tremendously. That Those are funds that I can access, put right into my bank account, boom, and I can pay stuff with it. That's number one. Number two, Patreon. Patreon, it takes you know, anything you pledge to my Patreon, I get uh, pretty much immediately. It clears. However, if you have an ongoing pledge, it's the first of the month. So basically, if you pledge to my Patreon today, I get credit for that. And then I'll have another recurring pledge next month. So Patreon would help tremendously now as well. All right. Or Teespring, my Teespring shop. Anything that you buy from my Teespring, I get credit for that pretty much right away. And I have the ability to you know access those funds. So anything there, those are the three ways that you could really significantly help me right now. <clears throat> Moving forward until I say middle to end of January, those are the ways that you can basically save my ass from having to go into financial ruin and sell my house over something I'm not, I, I didn't do wrong, okay? So there you go. Um, that's the situation, folks. Now, next month's Patreon for the month of December... In my opinion, the best event I've ever proposed for Patreon, it's something that people have asked me for for years. It's people, something that people said, wow, if Phil ever wants to really, you know, raise funds, this is what he should do. I'm doing it. And I'll tell you what it is. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know, because I have to, I want to set up a title card and start promoting it, which I haven't had a chance to yet. But um, it's, a, it's pretty much, whew, it's what people have wanted, all right? It's what people have wanted. Some of you will probably already figure out what it is. Um, I'm definitely willing to do it. All right. And uh, we'll see. We'll Because the thing is, if we can raise the funds, it'll be great. But I'm going to have a secondary goal for the first time in a long time. There's going to be a secondary goal in the hopes of raising a lot more funds to help with this tax situation. Okay. And if we hit the secondary goal, then it would be really cool. All right. And it would definitely help a lot more. Okay, um, so we'll see. Let's see what happens. I'll, I will show you this goal soon. It's not, I'm not ready yet. Like I said, I would really like to have some title card art or something ready before I announce this goal, only because I want to really heavily promote this, and I'm hoping during the month of December I can really get people to pledge. I really, I mean, let's be honest here, all right? I haven't had uh, a lot of people too excited over my Patreon in a while. It's been a while, um... I think this is something that could definitely motivate people. And then moving forward, 
the goals are really not going to be dependent on Patreon anymore. I'm going to have the goals be more focused around Twitch things. Like, for example, you know, get 350 subs in one month. Which, right now, I'm all the way down to, like, 273. I'm way down now. Because all those artificial subs that I got for that promotional event I did last month are all gone now. So I went from 308 subs down to, like, 273. If I could get, like, 350 subs, now you're talking, oh, look, an additional new 75 subs, right? That's a pretty good amount of extra money. And that would be, you know, enough for me to maybe do a celebratory goal. And then every month, maybe I'll raise it a little bit. I want 375 subs this month. I want 400 subs. And keep trying to build every month. And if I hit that that goal, then I do a special event. And then the patrons, rather than funding these goals, instead, people who pledge to my Patreon will be formulating these events. So maybe they're the people who get to nominate and vote on games for these events. While it's the subs on Twitch that get to determine, uh, you know, if we even do the event. Stuff like that. Okay. So there you go, folks. That's kind of how it's going to go um, moving forward. And, you know, this month in particular, December, is going to be a very important month for me. Not only, first of all, am I finally going to get to take some time off and relax from all the stress that I've had these past couple of months with this looming issue of this debt and everything on my head. Um, and I finally get to spend some time with my girlfriend, which is going to be nice. Uh, but then when I come back, it's going to be non-stop new stuff with Resident Evil 7 DLCs, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, me continuing on with stuff I didn't finish, Okami HD, <clears throat> all the holiday special events that I'm going to be doing. Um, and then after all that, the year-end stuff, the year that you know the the worst games of the year, the the Game of the Year awards. I'll be working on all that. I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, folks, that I'm going to be working on. Um. Whew, it's going to be very busy, and I'm going to be doing my best here every day to entertain you on stream, to get you to come out, right? Uh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, all right? <sighs> all right, so anyway, that's all one thing I wanted to talk about. Now I got all that out of the way, all right? Number two, ladies and gentlemen, you might have noticed something different on my stream today, okay? <clears throat> okay, folks, FYI... Um, you guys should check out, if you are watching, I, I don't know if this works on mobile, I'm gonna warn you, most things don't work on mobile yet, they just don't. I'm testing out a new beta extension, alright, if you look below my stream, if you're on, say, a, a, a desktop computer, a laptop computer, if you're watching the full version of my, my channel here on Twitch, there should be a new box, a new extension there, it's called Live Pet, okay, if you don't know what that is, it's a interactive uh extension that you can click on it and if you click on it it levels up okay moves around has an animation it levels up for what i'm gonna understand the way this works is it's it's interaction between all of you like cooperating clicking the more you click the more experience points it levels and i think ev every five to ten levels the actual emote that it is because it's an emote from the chat it changes it'll change to a completely different emote supposedly um, now, I don't know. I mean, this is a beta. It just started working, and apparently it only works. Um, apparently it only works when the stream is live. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I'm to understand. That it only works when the stream is live. Like, you can't interact with it when the stream is off. So, give it a look. All right. Mess around with it a little bit. Play with it. You're supposed to click it or whatever to get it to evolve. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if it's working, first of all. Because I actually wanted to try... A previous version of this extension, way back in September, it was called Kappa Pet. And I believe that one only used the Kappa emote. And it didn't work at all. It just wouldn't work at all, okay? <clears throat> now, you might ask, well, what is the point of this? Well, number one, I'm just testing another extension. Remember, I, you know, I've been messing with these extensions recently. But there is the option to spend money in it, which I know some people might be saying, spending money in an extension is silly. I know, but listen... It's just another way to help support because apparently if you spend money on it, I believe there's three options. I think one of them is like uh, your clicks count for more experience points. And another one is like oh, unlimited clicks for everyone for five minutes. There's no cooldown. Just click the hell out of it or something like that. Um, if you do those, I get a cut. So I'm going to get a cut of any revenue that, that you spend on this extension. Listen. <clears throat> it's as silly as it is. It's not, I mean, is it serious? No. But it's something fun to mess around with, right? It's something interactive, something different. You know? I go on a break, you want something to do, click the pet. 
You're a little bored. Nothing going on. Too exciting in the game. Click the pet. Right? <laughs> I'm not seeing it right now. What level is it right now? Can anyone see it? Because I had I was looking at it on pre-stream and it was up to level four already. Uh, but it was just the generic like robot happy face. And I don't know if it's evolved since then or changed or whatever. Does anyone know what level it is and what it's doing? It's level seven. What does it look like right now? Is it still just the robot face? Or did it change? Because I don't know if it evolves at level 5 or 10. I don't remember. Still looks like the robot? Okay. Because the way it's supposed to work is, yeah, it's supposed to change once it hurt, hits certain milestones. Okay. If it doesn't, that's something they want to know because this is a beta. This is a beta test of this, this extension. So if it doesn't automatically evolve, they're going to want to know that. Because I did enable it. Because there was options, and I could have set it to be any of the common emotes, but it says, or you can have it to be interactive, to have incentive for people to click, make it so that once it hits a certain level, it changes the emote. And that's what it's supposed to be, is like once it hits like level 10 or something, it's supposed to change the emote to a new one. And then again, at like level 20, like it's supposed to keep doing like every 10 levels, there's an incentive to change it to a new emote. And that makes people want to click, right? Um... If it's not working for you, uh, refresh the page. Some people have told me it wasn't loading, and if they refreshed, it worked. But I did notice that some things may not be working right away. Like, for example, it has, like, a running stat where it tells you, oh, how much has you contributed to this exp experience-wise and stuff? And I, that wasn't reading properly yet. But I think what may happen is once the stream stops, then maybe that updates. I don't know. Again, we are actually one of the first groups testing this. It didn't go live until last night. It was last night that this this extension went live. So we're some of the first people even messing with it. So if there's problems, there's problems, you know. That's good feedback for, for the developers to figure out and fix, okay? <laughs> I went from level 7 back to level 4. That's not good. ha, ha, ha. That sounds like an issue. That does not sound like it was supposed to happen. Because like I said, it was level 4 when I, when I was just about to start the pre-stream, so. Now Nick says, I refresh it, now it says it's level 7. Jeez, this thing is all over the place, huh? Alright, so anyway, just it, just something to test, folks. Something to mess around with. Something, something different on the stream, right? Gives you something different to do. Uh, I'm certainly not going to... Uh, I'm not going to push it upon you that you have to use it or, or especially spend money in it. I mean, it's nice if you do. It's nice because I'm apparently going to get a cut, which is nice. But at the same time, uh, I understand it's just a, an extension that we're testing. It's not any big deal. Obviously, there's other ways you could contribute as well. Like I said, tipping, uh, you know, Teespring, Patreon. Those things are, you know, obviously good too. So, <laughs> all right. Um... I'm trying to think. I've already mentioned Patreon. I've already mentioned Teespring. I'm trying to think. I'll just throw this out there, folks. My Teespring store. If you are thinking of buying anything on my Teespring store, now would be the time to do it if you want it in time for Christmas. All right? In fact, in the past day, two people have bought that Dukes Up mug. I think it's called Put Up Your Dukes mug. Uh, I guess they really like the design, which is cool because I like the design too. If I didn't already have a mug from earlier in the year, the skull design, I'd probably buy that, that Put Up Your Dukes mug because it looks really good to me. What's going on, Ratchet fan? Good to see ya. So, um... So that... Be, oh, by the way, Golden Colts says, I'm gonna boost everyone's clicks on the live pet. So FYI, if you guys are clicking it, I guess Golden Colts is maybe gonna dump some money into this thing and see if it works. <laughs> My apologies if it doesn't. He's gonna try to boost everyone's clicks. Oh, there you go! Look at that! So it showed up in the stream chat. Check that out. It's in the stream chat. It just says he did a community love boost. So everyone now, if you click on the pet, it'll be getting extra love. I didn't know that that would show up in the stream chat. That's pretty cool. Well, that's cool because now I can announce it when people do that stuff. I can say, oh, everyone, quick, go click the go click the live pet. You know? That's kind of cool. What's going on, Dark Viking? How you doing? So there you go. Everyone's Everyone apparently is clicking like crazy on the live pet, going nuts. All right. So while you're doing that, let me continue. 
Um, let me, ah, wire stuck to my foot. My new headphone wire stuck to my foot. Um, let me continue. So yeah, if you are planning on getting anything from my Teespring shop, I strongly recommend if you want it by Christmas, order it soon. As in within the next week or so. If you don't, there's no guarantee you're going to get it in time for Christmas. Keep in mind that Teespring is a made-to-order business. When you order, they make the product then and then they ship it. It takes about a week to make the product and then about a week to get it to you via the shipping. Unless you pay extra for rush shipping, but then there's still no guarantee. Uh, especially if you live outside the United States. Keep in mind it's going to take even longer to get to you. Okay. Um... Oof. So that being said, folks, um, all that being said, um, yes, you're going to want to order now to make sure you get your, your Teespring items in time for Christmas. If you don't care about Christmas, then no rush, right? But I'm just saying, I don't want anyone ordering on like December 15th and then they don't get their items till January and then they're pissed, you know, oh man, I miss Christmas. Well, I'm trying to forewarn you as much as I possibly can, Okay. <laughs> Super Slade says, so the live pet's face had a love explosion. Now he looks satisfied. He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Whoa, Nick says, this motherfucker is sticking his tongue out at me. Oh, did he evolve? Did the emote evolve? Because that's what's supposed to happen. Every 10 levels, it's supposed to change. Did it change? Yeah, people are saying, yes, it changed. Now it's the bot with the tongue sticking out. So there you go. Now you know how it works. Every 10 levels, it changes. And by the way, it doesn't always stay as the robot. It, it goes through, like, all the common emotes that are available on Twitch, supposedly. So you can, like, guess, gee, I wonder which of the common emotes it's going to become next, you know. It's, it's a silly thing, but it's kind of cool. It's something different to do during streams, right? If you don't know what everyone's talking about, it's the new Live Pet extension. I'm testing the beta. Right now on the stream, if you're watching on, like, a desktop version of Twitch, uh, not mobile, and you scroll down below my stream, you'll see it. It's a box there. It's, it's one of the, the boxes. You know how I have all my rules and everything listed there and all my links. It's a box there. It's called Live Pet. And what you do is you just keep clicking on it and you interact with it. And it levels up experience-wise. And it apparently just hit level 10 and it evolved. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Chaos Reigns as he sees it now. There you go. All right. Um, all right. So I already talked about my Patreon. I already talked about Teespring. The final thing I'll say, folks, if you want to help out, if you like my streams, you want to see me continue to be able to do them, you want to see me keep my house, which is kind of an important thing right now, you can either cheer, sub, or tip during the course of the stream. All right. They're all very much appreciated. And I will give you a verbal shout out if you do so. Okay. In addition, if you cheer, sub, or tip, and at certain levels, you'll get an on-screen pop-up notification. If you cheer 50 bits or more, if you tip $2 or more, or if you subscribe to the channel and click on the share button, okay, then you will get an on-screen pop-up notification to thank you for your contributions. By the way, folks, I should mention this. Since today is the last day of November, it means it's the last day of those fall, uh, you know, pop-up thank yous. Starting tomorrow, I will have a new slew of thank you animations for your contributions, holiday themed for the month of December. Custom designed, yet again, yes ladies and gentlemen, by Dr. Zombius. He's working on them, he's already finished two, he's finishing up the third today. I'm eager to see what he puts together. Um, and you'll see them starting tomorrow. Alright? Starting tomorrow. I hope you're excited. I love these animations that Dr. Zombius puts together for us. Really, I do. They are really outstanding, right? Great quality. So let's see what he what he comes up with for the Christmas month. All right, everyone. Um, hold on a second, because I have a lot of shout outs to do. All right, I'm gonna do shout outs for everyone who's been contributing on the stream. And overnight, a ton of people came out and did some cheering. Um, overnight when I wasn't even streaming. Let's give some credit where credit is due. So Golden Colts did a 100-bit cheer. Golden Colts did another 100-bit cheer. Jean d'Arc did a 200-bit cheer. Said hashtag nude for Nagato. Golden Colts did another 100-bit cheer. Golden Colts did another 105-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 10-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 100-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 65-bit cheer. Holy crap, Golden Colts. You were on a roll overnight. <laughs> then Tantamounter did a 100-bit cheer with a Kappa face. Jean d'Arc 
did another 100-bit cheer and said, Nude for Anon. Golden Colts did a 100-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 60-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 30-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 10-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 10-bit cheer. Golden Colts did a 15-bit cheer. Zaxby Sauce did a 10-bit cheer. Said, have some bits. And Monique the Third did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you, everyone, before I even started, who contributed. You guys are awesome. I appreciate that a lot. I really, really do. Okay? It really makes me feel supported for the fact that people are coming out and doing cheers overnight when I'm not even here. That is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Colts just did another boost for the live pet. So if you're watching the stream live, scroll down under the stream if you're on the desktop version of the, of the stream on my channel here and click the hell out of the live pet. Level it up again. <laughs> Unlimited clicks right now. No cooldown. Go, go, go. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's get to people who actually contributed as the stream was live. First of all, we had Zach's B-Sauce did a 35-bit cheer and asks, Phil, have you ever tried to make rib? Yes. And I can understand why some people like it. Personally, I don't really dig it. It's kind of really fatty meat and it doesn't honestly taste that great in my opinion in my opinion it's actually the barbecue sauce they put on the McRib tastes better than the McRib itself I think that's why a lot of people like it it has this like smoky barbecue sauce they put on it that makes it taste better because all it is it's this rib patty it's not even really it's it's shaped to look like chicken ribs or excuse me it's shaped to look like pork ribs even though all it is is processed pork you don't even know if it's actual pork rib that it's made from and it looks like a patty, like a, like a rib patty when it's not really. It's just processed meat. And then they slap this barbecue sauce on it, and then they put a couple pickles on a bun. It's not great, folks. It's, it, ugh. <laughs> it's really not great. It's, it's not great at all. I have have real ribs. They're amazing. Then you eat the fucking McRib. You're like, what is this? This is supposed to taste like ribs. But anyway, yeah, not very good in my opinion. Uh, Ponage101 did a $10 tip. He says, Phil, sorry to hear about the crap you've been going through. I hope the best for you. Well, thank you very much, Ponage, for your support. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I'm going to be real here. It's fucking it sucks. What I'm going through right now. All right. Um, <clears throat> it's not anyone's fault. It's not my fault. It's certainly not your fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's bullshit. It's a stupid situation where... I did nothing wrong. I did do due diligence, yet I still got screwed. <laughs> so, it's life, I guess. Shit like this happens from time to time, I guess. Um, it's not cool. Definitely not cool. And I definitely don't want to lose my house. Especially, like I said, I've been dating uh, someone who I've been seeing her for a few months. Things are going well. I'm going to see her again next week. And if things keep working out, you know, there's potential that maybe she would want to move in with me eventually long term. And this would be the perfect opportunity. You know, we have two incomes to help pay for the house. And things basically would be getting back into a routine that's more manageable for me. Rather than me doing everything and kind of killing myself here. To have someone to share the responsibilities and everything with again would be amazing. Um, and then as all this positive stuff is happening. You know, you guys were coming out to the streams and supporting. And I was able to pay all my bills. And I'm dating a, a girl who's, you know, a great person. And I'm like, damn, this is all working out perfectly. And then this fucking bomb drops on my head. Oh, by the way, your tax attorney fucked you. You're going to owe thousands and thousands of dollars in tax back taxes that you should have been paying all along, but your tax attorney didn't do their job. Gee, what a great position to be in. Thank you, life, so much. I really do fucking appreciate it, right? So it's a shitty situation, but you guys have been supporting me. And, I mean, like I said, between Patreon this month coming up, and the fact that I may be doing some things, for example, you know, special streams and stuff in order to try to raise funds to make up for all this, um, you know, maybe I can get out of the situation. I don't know. I hope so. Right now, I don't even know what I owe yet. That's the problem is there's really no incentive for anyone to get the work done and tell me what I owe until like the end of the year because they know it's not due. None of this is due until the end of January. So what's their rush, right? What's their fucking rush to get it done? Um, I'll, I'll hopefully know more by the end of this month. I hope. Well, the end of December, I should say. But 
I guess we'll find out. All right, but thank you everyone for your support. I do appreciate it. Golden Colts did a two dollar tip. He says, "Here you go. Thank you, Golden Colts." Astro Jet Boy did a ten bit cheer. He says, "Are you still going to do a player unknown battleground marathon even though you didn't hit the goal?" Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to do it like I was going to do it. The way that it was supposed to work was if I had hit this funding goal on Patreon in November, I was going to have this big to do event. I was going to set it up so that I, honestly, because the game hadn't come out yet. For consoles, I was going to play it on PC. I was going to play it for like seven plus hours straight. Um, it was going to be this big, you know, hype event. Now, I'm probably still going to check the game out on Xbox One, but it's just going to kind of be like a normal stream. You know, it's going to be like, well, I'll check it out today for a session, see if it's any good. If people like it, I'll play it again. If people don't like it, well, I'll just move on, you know. So it's not, not going to be nearly as exciting as it would have been. And I also would have done it right around now. It would have been around now that I would have done this special stream. Um... And it would have been, a lot, I think, a lot more hype than when the game just comes out on console. But, oh well, it is what it is. I'm, I, like I said, I'm still interested in checking the game out. We'll see what it is. All right. Booty Call Me did a 10-bit cheer. He says, well, you have to pay taxes on Patreon funds. Yes. Folks, any money that I make, I pay taxes on. Any money, no matter what avenue it is, is considered income. And I have to pay taxes on it. Um, anyone who doesn't is basically not doing their taxes properly. Every, any money that I bring in, I have to pay taxes on no matter what. All right. There's no exemptions. There's no, there's things that I can write off, off, off of my taxes, any expenses that are towards my being able to stream, being able to put out video content and make the money that I do. Those are considered expenses that I can write off, but no, I have to pay taxes on everything that I, every, every dollar that I make, I'm paying taxes on. Okay, that's just the way it is in, in the United States. Game Master 2003 is dead to the 250 bit cheer. He said, Hello, Phil. How's life? Well, I think now that I've been talking more on pre stream, you kind of know it's, it's a mix because um, it's a mix because, ooh, my neck, ouch. It's a mix because I'm really enjoying the streams, I'm really enjoying playing games for you guys, and you know, this is all positive, positive, positive. But then I got this looming shit, you know? I got this shit looming behind me in my head, and, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, get out of the situation I'm in right now, all right? All right. Shout out to Booty Call Me if you did another 10 bit cheers. Is the fundraiser cooking with the king? No, it is not. Richie7ACR did a 50 bit cheer. Says, stay positive, Phil. You've overcome so much. You will get through this too. I hope so, man. I seriously hope so. <laughs> but thank you for the cheer, and thank you for the support. Bent Boxer did a 50-bit cheer. He said, chin up, fill your channel, your inner happy Gilmore, and save the house. I, I will do my best. Thank you, Bent Boxer. Buttamania did an 89-bit cheer. Or did I, excuse me. Buttamania89 did a 15-bit cheer. I read that completely wrong. Thank you, Buttamania. I got an anonymous dollar and 33 cent tip. He says, Phil, I'm going to go ahead and do a pledge for November. Rather than have you complete a two-year-old perk... I'm sympathetic to this idiotic tax situation. I've also been at the short end of government short-sightedness. Well, thank you. I, I don't really understand what you're saying. He said, I'm going to go ahead and do a pledge for November rather than have you complete a two-year-old perk. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Are you pledging to my Patreon for November? I guess. I. It's not clear what you're saying, but thank you. Our, first of all, thank you for this tip. And however you're planning on contributing, thank you very much. Keep in mind, if you want to get in on the November Patreon, you have to pledge now in the next ten and a half hours. You have to, or else it's going to count towards December, not towards November. All right? <laughs> Shout out to Astro Jet Boy, who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, by the way, did you watch the Epic Infinity War trailer? Yes, I did, and I even tweeted about it. Shout out to AES, who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, I love Telltale Games. Walking Dead Season 1 is my favorite one. But the bullshit with the Walking Dead collection, which doesn't include the final season that's coming out next year, and doesn't come to the Switch, is making me wary of their future. Well, they're not doing so well. They released a ton of people. If you're not aware, they released 25% of their workforce about a month ago. Um, yeah. And more than likely, the reason that they did that was because uh, they've just oversaturated the market. There's too many Telltale games out there. They're all way too similar. Uh, they don't give release dates for when their their episodes are coming out, and let's face it, their games recently have been performing really poorly on, gra I mean, uh, graphically, both on PC and on console. They're choppy. The frame rate's bad. The games are crashing, and everyone's complaining about this. Like, what's happened to Telltale? That all of a sudden now, you know, their games really the quality seems to have dropped. They don't seem to be as good as they used to be. 
for whatever reason. And it seems to be a common complaint now. So I think Telltale needs to trim the fat and start doing better. Um, you know, they need to start listening to the fans. They need to start innovating. There's a lot of things they could do to become better. And they're going to have to start because people just don't want the same old, same old anymore. Shout out to Game Master 2003 is dead. Uh, who did a 10 bit cheer and says troll cheer? <laughs> Wu Bang. Wu Bang did a. Oh, Wu Bang. Wow, wait a minute. Wu Bang resubscribed to the channel. For the 13th month in a row. So apparently, ladies and gentlemen, if you were one of the people who subscribed to my channel on the day that I returned, on the very day that I returned, okay, um, to Twitch, you can now be a 13-month subscriber, meaning you're entering year two of the sub. This is the, this is the first I've seen of this. So congratulations to Wubag for being the first official person I've seen Enter the two-year sub time frame. Very nice. Thank you, Wubag, for that. Okay. Shout out to Ornites who did a 10-bit cheer. This is how are you with seafood? I take you as a lobster and crab guy. Um, seafood's good. I like various kinds of seafood. Um, you know, it's pretty much like any person. Shellfish is good. Shrimp. Uh, lobster, crab. Although, I'll be honest, lobster and crab is expensive, and I rarely eat it just because it's so expensive. Um... You know, it, I, I don't have the budget for it. Even when, uh, I'll be honest, for the two years when I made ins insane amounts of money on YouTube, many, many years ago, uh, I ate out a lot. <laughs> Only because I could. All right? These days, I I can't even, I couldn't even tell you the last time that I had a piece of, cr of shrimp or lobster or crab. It, it's been quite some time, and it probably will be quite some time because I just don't have uh, the money for that stuff anymore. I just don't. Um... But I really do like it. I mean, I'm, you're talking from a guy who is East Coast, right? I, I grew up on the East Coast. Many Italian restaurants. And let me tell you, shellfish in particular, a hugely popular ingredient in Italian food. So many different kinds of shrimp, uh, lobster, and crab dishes, you know, that I've had over the years. Um, but it's funny because really, until I'd say, until the second half of the 2000s, I never really even had any of that stuff. I never really had any seafood. For whatever reason, I thought it was gross when I was much younger. And then as I got older, my tastes kind of changed, and now I really like it. Now, in addition to shellfish, I also do like... Um, I also do like regular... Like salmon, cod, tilapia. You know, different kinds of fish. I would like those too in, in various dishes. I'm not just a shellfish guy. I, you know, I'm, and let's face it, those fish are a lot cheaper too. And out here where I live now, Washington State, those fish are a lot more common because we're, we get a lot of imports from Alaska. So we get a lot of Alaskan-style fish. Okay. So. <clears throat> All right. Um, Hold on. I'm still not done. AES did another Tempest here. He says, some people talk smack about Thanos, how he looks at the new Avengers movie. What they need to remember is that movies are not like video games. Visual fidelity does not necessarily affect the film's story, and its script is its most important aspect. There you go. Uh, Star-Lord did a $3 tip. Thank you, Star-Lord. He says, I'm also in the galaxy again, but just wanted to say thank you for all the awesome content. Keep on rocking, man. Well, thank you, Star-Lord. I appreciate that. Um, uh, uh, oh, my God. Excuse me. Woo! Anonymous. I got another anonymous $2.36 tip. These are some really weird tip amounts today, by the way. Um, and anonymous says, remember the Mark Henry and Sammy segment from back in 1999 on WWF Raw? Oh, sweet Jesus, you've got a penis. I love Jerry Lawler's reaction, and by the way, your laugh is only second to Jerry's. Well, there you go. Some classic throwback wrestling references. For my viewers here on stream today. Thank you, Anonymous, for the tip. The King in Yellow did uh, resubscribe to the channel. Thank you, King... Well, actually, I take that back. I completely misspoke. The King in Yellow did an initial subscription to the channel here. Pretty nice. Thank you very much. <clears throat> a goof called Woof did a 10-bit cheer. It says, Telltale should have released a PS3 version of The Walking Dead Season 3. Well... I, I guess they didn't, right? Did they not release? They didn't do it for the previous old old or the last gen consoles, right? They only put them out for PS4 and Xbox One. Is that true? 
And even then they ran like shit. <laughs> you probably don't want it on PS3. It probably would have been a fucking PowerPoint show. PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> With the, it was already bad on, on modern console Or uh, the, the current generation of consoles. So. Dark. Excuse me. Dank. I almost screwed that up. Dank Whistler. Dank Whistler has subscribed to the channel. Thank you Dank Whistler for the subscription. I appreciate that. Dark, Star Lord took me another $2. Thank you Star Lord for another $2 tip. And the King of Hypocrisy did a 10-bit cheers. As Phil, would you ask? Did you ha ask your hairdresser if you have a bald spot like you said you would? Yeah, actually. And she said, no, it's the same. It looks the same. It's my hair, guys. This is what people don't seem to understand. My hair has not been been great. My hair, when I was a kid, I'll explain this to you quickly. My mom always put, had this weird Poindexter-looking fucking hairdo. Did you ever watch The Little Rascals? Right. I remember that kid. I can't remember his fucking name. He was the kid who had the cowlick, and he had like the, the 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 hairdo where the hair was combed to one side, right? He had a part in the middle of his head; it was combed to one side. That's how my mom used to do my fucking hair when I was a kid, and she did that. I'm not even kidding you. All throughout when I went to elementary school, into when I started high school, Alfalfa. That's his name. That's it. Yeah, that was the fucking hairdo she gave me, and then finally. When I started going to high school, I told my mom, I don't want this hairdo anymore. This is, no one in school looks like this. I got to stop this. All right? I've got to stop this. This is ridiculous. So, I changed my hair. I shaved it. I went down to a crew cut. All right? A crew cut. And that was, and that was, then I ended, that was it for the rest, from, from high school all the way until 2010, I always had a crew cut. That was my hairdo. That was the hairdo I rocked everywhere because I didn't want to be bothered with dealing with hair and everything. But the problem was that my, my, my mom had done my hair like that. She created a fucking hairline and receding hair. So basically the part of where my hair was is where if you look at my hair now, it looks like, oh, Phil has a receding hairline. No, that's my hair's, my hairline's been like that because my mom used to make a part in my head there and my hair naturally stopped growing where the hair kept getting torn apart, okay? And the back of my head where you say, oh, there's a bald spot. No, that's where my part used to end. It used to go from the front of my head to the back of my head. So the two natural spots where she always used to comb the hair away, the hair didn't grow well, okay? <laughs> so that's the answer is it's because of where the part was the hair naturally grew away. And it's funny because people, oh, Phil has a receding hairline. I'm like, dude, go check out my videos from seven years ago. My hairline's exactly the same. My hairline hasn't receded at all. It's never been even because of this part that my mom gave me when I was a kid. Now, if I always had this hair do my whole life, you wouldn't ever noticed it. But because I changed my hairstyle twice, first I went crew cut, now I've got the comb back look, you notice it. Okay? So there you go. But no, my hairdresser did not say, um, no, she says, no, it's not any worse than it was. It's this exactly the same. So there you go. And Ornites did a 10-bit cheer. Is everything is shaving off the goatee once in a while and going back to a retro feel. Well, why would you want that? Doesn't the goatee look better? Most people, I think the consensus is the goatee looks much better than when I didn't have it. All right. That seems to be the consensus. Like more people like the beard than don't. Um, but I mean, would I ever be totally 100% against shaving the goatee off? No, no, I wouldn't be a hundred percent against it, but at the same time, I kind of like it. It's different. It's, you know, I, I mean, now it's not different anymore. I've had it now for what? I, I grew it in late 2010, early 2011. So I've had it for a good, you know, six and a half to seven years, but I think I like, I like it better. Like right now I'm looking at the screen of the three versions of me from Christmas events in the past. And the one on the left that doesn't have the goatee looks stupid in my opinion. I like the one with the beard better, you know? But anyway, I digress. Thanos the Mad Titan did a $2 tip. Thank you, Thanos the Mad Titan, for the tip. And Ass Blaster did a 10-bit cheer. It says, crew cut and shave goatee for fundraiser. Why? Why would people pledge to see that? That's stupid. Listen. Wait till you see my goal next month for Patreon, all right? Then you'll see the best thing I could do, I think, for a fundraiser. Not shaving my fucking goatee and shaving my head. Who cares about that? <laughs> Why do people care so much what I physically look like? Who gives a fuck? Oh, my God. 
All right, everybody. <clears throat> I think it's time. I think it's time to start. It's already freaking 1.30. We have so many people here. <laughs> so many people here who are cheering and everything. Duke XJT did a 25-bit cheer. He called me Al Filfa. <laughs> he said, hey, Al Filfa, get mutton chops. There you go. All right. All right, or nights enough. You another 10 bit you're still talking about this. No, stop talking about shaving hair. Enough. Relax. King of Hypocrisy did another 10 bit year about shaving my head. He says, I look like Private Pile from Full Metal Jacket. Wow. Well, that's definitely what I want to look like. Private Gomer Pile. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be doing it then. Thanks. You've just talked me out of ever shaving my head and my, my goatee. There you go. Thank you very much. You've talked me out of it. All right, everybody. So let's get started with Horizon Zero Dawn here on stream. We'll pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, I'm currently exploring these frozen wilds. I'm on the trail of the uh, one of the shamans. Shaman? Shaman? I don't even remember how to say it. About to head into this trial area where apparently the shaman has gone. Um, and then we'll go from there. Sound good? <clears throat> All right. Thank you, everybody. Let's do this. By the way, how's how's Live Pet doing? What level are we at? I, again, I don't have the stream open, so I. What level are we at with Live Pet? How's it going? Has it has it exploded? I'm waiting to see what people say here before I end pre-stream. Fourteen is it a level level fourteen? Wow, that thing fucking exploded. It was at level four when I started pre-stream. Holy shit! And now we know apparently every ten levels is when it evolves and changes. So there you go. Game Master two thousand three did a temperature. Says it's dead. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Don't say that the pet is dead. Don't joke like that. That ain't right. The pet better be alive. <clears throat> All right, let's end pre-stream. Let's get started with actual gameplay. Sound good? All right, here we go. All 